Welcome to the Truck Crane Parts Challenge. Can you name the parts of this powerful work machine? Here is the telescoping boom. The boom can extend way up into the sky. Some truck crane booms can extend 100 feet or more. Telescoping means to slide in or out with overlapping sections. See how this boom telescopes? This is called the jib. It can be connected to the end of the boom so the crane can reach even further. Like other powerful trucks, the truck crane uses a hydraulic cylinder to lift. The cylinder is right here. To grab and hold on to its load, the crane uses a hook block. These are the lines. This is another name for the steel cables that help lift the load. And these grooves that help keep the cables lined up are called the sheaves. The hook block is heavy, so it helps keep the lines taut. T-A-U-T. It means tight. So the heavy hook block makes sure that the lines don't get too loose and that they stay in the sheaves where they can lift best. Now here is the hoist gear. Hoist means to lift. The hoist gear lifts the load with a winch. A winch is a metal cylinder, kind of like a big spool, like a spool of thread. But instead of thread, a winch is used to roll up the steel cables. So if the winch rolls in one direction, the cables will lift the hook box. If the winch rolls in the other direction, it lowers the hook box. Because truck cranes lift very heavy loads, they need to be careful not to tip over. Truck cranes use special legs called outriggers to do this. See how this truck extends all four outriggers to balance itself? The outriggers are made of a beam that's like the leg and a pad that's like a foot. The counterweight is another part of the crane that helps keep its balance. This truck has a counterweight that weighs over 3,000 pounds. The truck part of the truck crane, which includes the cab where the driver sits, is sometimes called the carrier because it carries the crane from one place to another and gets it into position. The crane part of the truck crane may also include a cab where the operator sits while he controls the crane. The carrier and the crane are connected by a turntable sometimes called a Rotex gear. This big round gear allows the crane to turn all the way around 360 degrees in a circle. Okay, so let's go back again and name the main parts of this truck crane. Here we go, starting with the telescoping boom. Jib. Hydraulic cylinder. Hook block. Steel cables. Hoist gear. Outriggers. Counterweight, carrier, crane, Rotex gear. Nicely done. <laughs>